So on the three castings we did yesterday, uh, I'm just turning the outside diameter to the same size as the original one that I did. And I'm using my spring calipers because I have them. For a rough dimension like this, it's a pretty handy item to have. Since this little tapered mandrel is tapered, I'm not getting the full benefit of uh, holding it in the three jaw. So the faster I can get these things flipped around and turn this down to round and get a better grip, the better. Well, now that we have a, a face parallel to the chuck, I'll go ahead and flip it around. Okay, let's get an update on the progress. All three of these have the exact same outside diameter. And I went ahead and took this one and turned it down to finish size with this shoulder. Now what the shoulder is going to do, well, in order to really solve this problem for my friend uh, about losing them, you have to understand what the problem is in the first place. This thing just snaps in, and I apologize for my voice, but I've got laryngitis. And, but it's important that I show you what's going on with these things. These tabs just snap in, and this plastic piece rests on this little shoulder. So let me go ahead and pop it in. All right, so this thing is in and you're driving down the road and you hit a pothole or you hit a railroad track and look how little pressure, I'm going to put a little pressure on the back and that just pops off and if you're doing 50 miles an hour these things are flying off your vehicle like clay pigeons over at a shotgun chute. So in order to solve this we're going to take advantage of this little uh, plastic shoulder that exists there and also on the back side. After I throw some threads on these, we're going to drop this disc that I turned down on the inside. It doesn't move side to side. It's a perfect fit. Then we also have that same little shoulder right over here. So I've turned down my pieces with that same shoulder. That are going to fit right inside. And it's going to sandwich his piece in between the plastic disc and the part that we just made. And once we put a large washer on this and then thread a nut on there. He's not going to lose these things ever again unless, of course, his plastic piece breaks because it only has two bolts holding this onto the vehicle. This is the most ridiculous design I've ever seen. For $1,500 rims, you should get better stuff than that, but it is what it is. But he'll never lose them again with the caps that I made them. That's for sure.
they have a beveled edge on this thing so we're gonna follow that same design and then once they're anodized I can go ahead and do the final turning on it and it's gonna bring out that silver because we're gonna turn away the black anodize now that I have one that gives me all my dimensions now I could quickly do the other three so let me move back over to the lathe and I'll turn the rest of these three down to the 482 thousandths cut in a shoulder on each one and we'll take it from there I don't know how much of that I'm going to show but I'll show you a little bit of it well this one here needs to have about 70 thousandths come off it as uh, evidenced by this mark I put on it but rather than take it off the back side I'm going to take it off the front side because we have a little bit of porosity in a couple of places and I'm going to see if that 70 thousandths will go ahead and take all that off so let's chuck it up and take off 70 thousandths Ten more thousands to go. So the next machining operation is turning in this shoulder right here. Now I've already done the other three, so I'll show you the fourth one. I've got my carriage stop already set to the proper depth. That far and that's it. Which is the right depth. Now it's a bad camera angle. I'm still a sixteenth away from the chuck, but it's pretty close. I'm going to be using my spring calipers, which is already set to one of the other ones that's already good. So this will get me 99% there, and then we'll do a test fit. Well, the next operation is uh, threading these to half 13, since it's aluminum. We'll give it a little extra support with the tailstock.